Hi FlossTube, welcome to another video. My name is Anna and I am here for my end of 2022 wrap up slash whip parade slash finish parade. Basically everything that I worked on in 2022 and hopefully some of my plans for 2023. Um, I am sick today. Uh, we're all sick. So my husband is upstairs with our sick baby and because of that I think I'm going to have to record this in segments. So I'm going to try to do my first segment now and then I'll come back and do another one later and if I need to do a third one I'll tack that on at the end and then hopefully I have time to edit today and put them all together. We'll see if throughout the day I get more and more frazzled. I'm already pretty... Uh, frizzy and <laughs> tired. So anyway, like I said, my name is Anna. I started cross-stitching in 2018 and when I started this FlossTube channel, I was not sure how it would go or how long I would do it for or what I wanted to share. So I really haven't shared that much ab about me. So I thought that I would do this first segment to sort of introduce myself and say a little bit more about my life um, just so you guys have a you just know a little bit more about me uh, still very generic though because uh, the internet does kind of make me a little skittish anyway um, I am 33 years old I am about to turn 34 I grew up in Kansas and I went to college in Wisconsin and then I went to law school in Denver, Colorado. So in law school, I met my husband. So we are both attorneys. Uh, I am not practicing. I have never practiced as an attorney uh, because shortly after we got our licenses, my husband, then fiance, uh, started active duty service in the Marine Corps. So he was a judge advocate and I naturally moved wherever his station was. And so we lived uh, a little bit in Virginia and then in North Carolina. So I was licensed in Colorado at the time. So what I did is I took a, was gonna be temporary job with a, a company that produces academic materials for law students. That temporary job just kept going and going until 2019 when my husband got out of the military. We moved back to the Denver area and I uh, joined the team as a full-time employee. So I work as, uh, I used to be a legal editor, now my job title is attorney author. I do a lot of legal research and writing and revising of our materials. And I also run our substantive message center. So if we have a student in one of our courses who has a question about the legal materials, um, I manage the messaging system where they can submit a question, and then I manage our contractors who are licensed attorneys who answer those questions. Um, so I manage the system and that team of people. Oh. My cat Sybil is in here and she just hopped down from her cat tree. Um, anyway, so that's what I do for my job. Uh, it, it can be stressful as we approach uh, an exam uh, we get a lot of questions and we have to explain a lot of things in our materials. But then we have, you know, a lighter period where it's not quite so busy. We might have to have our first pause here so I can let the cat out, but we'll see if she... Okay. Okay, so that's what I do for work. Um, I am able to work remotely. I was in the office uh, until March of 2020, and since then... They closed our office here, and so we're all, everyone on our team is remote. Um, it's really nice to have that flexibility, but I, I go a long time where the only people I talk to are my husband and my five-month-old, so kind of miss having co-workers. <laughs> uh, right, so we live uh, in a suburb outside of Denver, Colorado. We have two dogs, a Pomeranian, Theodore, who is 13, and a mixed breed of questionable origin, 
uh, who is, I think she's six now. And then I also have a cat, uh, Sybil. And she, I don't know how old she is. You can tell I have not gotten a lot of sleep the last couple nights because I'm just, the details are just not there. Uh, yeah, so then we also um, have Ethan, our first child. He just turned five months old, so that has changed everything about our life, obviously, uh, including how much time I have to, to stitch or do my other hobbies. Other things I'm interested in. I love gardening. Uh, right now, I just have a vegetable garden, but our landscaping is a blank slate for flowers, perennials, whatever. Uh, eventually, that stuff will get put in. Um, I also enjoy cooking. I... Yeah, I enjoy cooking. <laughs> uh, we cook most of our meals out of uh, a big... America's Test Kitchen cookbook, which if you guys have watched that show, they make they make wonderful food and their whole premise is that you can repeat the recipes at home. But sometimes they're a little more complicated than other recipes that you can find on the internet. So I enjoy doing that. I also uh, spend a lot of time outside. I enjoy hiking and I also enjoy birding. I have a thing for birds. Um, so, yeah, that's a little bit about me. I still probably won't talk too much about my job or things like that on this channel, but I just wanted to give a quick introduction, or maybe not so quick, for anybody who just found me, or if you've been watching me for a while and you are curious about, about what I do and how I spend my time. So I'm going to pause, and I will be back with my first batch of whips. So to give a quick summary of stitching in 2022, I started 2022 with 15 whips and then throughout the year I finished three and then I also had four new starts. So I'm ending the year with 16 whips. I will talk more about this later on, but I would like to get my whip count back down to 15. So I should have some room to start a couple things, assuming I finish a couple things. So let's get into the whips that I still have. All right, I am back. Lunch is in the oven, laundry got turned over, so I'm going to do a couple of whips and then uh, take another pause. So, I started stitching in 2018, um, and I have one project left from that time. It's weird because I, I just did an update video yesterday, so I feel like I showed this recently, as I did. Um, but this is a full coverage from Artisy. It's called Fright Night. It is the cropped version. There is a bigger version um, that I like, but because I was just getting into cross stitch, this seemed more achievable, and here we are, four years later, still not done. So, let me show you where I'm at on that. And I will put in a picture of where it was at the beginning of 2022. So I, I think I made pretty good progress on this one. I know I started stitching it in diagonals, but I don't remember quite how far I was. So for this one, my goal is to finish it in 2023, hopefully before it turns five years old. So the beginning of August, which I think is achievable. There are 11 more diagonals, but they will get smaller as we go. And they're also more filled in because I started doing some cross country stitching. This is on 18 count white Ada. I'm using two strands of DMC. Um, Let's see, I have it set up in like a, I don't know, a budget-friendly scroll frame. I just have a different sizes of Q-snap, um, and then I roll it, and I snap it on the bottom also and roll it. Um, let's see, what else to say about this one? I suppose I should get, mo get moving through these quickly so that I can actually finish this video. Um, but 
yes, I'm looking forward to finishing it and having it on my wall for Halloween next year, I'm hoping. So then we're moving into projects that I started in 2019. The first one that I started uh, is a heaven and earth design. It is a mini and it is mini bird song. I've got lots of parked threads on this one. Um, here it is. Again, I don't remember where I was. I think that I started the year with a partial diagonal and then I finished that diagonal. So this is also on 18 count white Ada with two strands of DMC. I'm going to keep going with this even though it's massive um, and next time I start a full coverage I'm going to look at a smaller count, maybe 25 or 28 count with one strand, um, full cross. And again this is set up oh, like a scroll frame style. I don't have my connectors on here right now but I basically just like connect those and it's like a little scroll frame. This one is so great to work with. The colors are so bright, it's so springy. So my goal for this one in 2023, I think, is to do one diagonal, which is pretty big because they're getting so long. So we'll see whether that happens. I would rather finish Fright Night, but if that does happen, then I'll have the whole rest of the year to work on this one. So it's a mini bird song. Okay, uh, my next project from 2019, I've got a basket here, so I'm gonna try to pull them out, uh, is Winter Cardinals. I also just showed this yesterday for my end of December update. This is a dimensions kit uh, called Winter Cardinals. I will put in a picture of where it was at the start of 2022. And oops, oops. this is where oh, words. This is where we are ending in at the end of 2022. So all I have left on this. is this male cardinal and then the branch next to him and there's a little bit of greenery and snow between those two branches so my goal for this one in 2023 is to finish it i'm going to leave it out in january because it is seasonal um, once i finish all of the cross stitching i still have a lot of back stitching there are sort of long stitches in all the pine needles to make them look a little more defined. The only change I'm making on this one is the snow calls for five strands of white. I'm doing four strands of white and one strand of blending filament to make it a little sparkly, uh, but it just never shows up really on the camera here. It doesn't. So anyway, I would like to finish this in 2023 and I feel like I can do that. This is all the kit materials. It's a 16 count dove gray Ada. Oops. I have to bend down every time. Excuse me. So <clears throat> my next start in 2019 was a lavender and lace called Spirit of Christmas. Uh, if you can see the Santa. And this is where it's at. I was really happy to get uh, the first half of this like arbor wreath thing done uh, and also the bow at the top. This is on, let's see if I can get more information for you. 
This is on a 32 count witch alt fabric, and I believe the color, I, I don't know what color, um, what color it is, it's obviously a blue. This is one where I thought I ordered a navy, and it definitely is not a navy, um, but it, I still really like the blue color. So my plan, my goal for this one in 2023 is to stitch Santa's face. I like to get his, uh, let's see, really quickly. So this is his beard. I like to get his beard and his face done. And if I can work up into his uh, hat, that would be great. But getting just his beard and face done will be my goal for 2023. That's Spirit of Christmas by Lavender and Lace. The next whip from 2019 is called Horn of Plenty. It's from Just Cross Stitch Magazine. This is the September-October 2012, and it's this cover project. This is where I got to this year. <clears throat> so I'm not sure exactly what I accomplished, but I'm certain that I did more of the actual horn here, uh, and that I backstitched these things here, this gourd and a couple of leaves. I really enjoy working on this one. I mean, I enjoy all of my projects. <laughs> But this one is is nice because it's just it's different, it's seasonal, and um, I enjoy the back stitching. It's one of the only ones I have where you do the back stitching as like an outline. So this one is stitched on 32 count Belfast linen. I believe it's vintage country mocha, the one with a a stamp on the front. Um, so. It's going to be big with that border. I got enough fabric to bump the border out. So my goal for 2023 is to finish the horn, including some wheat up here, and also finish uh, a couple of corn cobs over on this side. The center still has, um, I believe they're, they look like marigolds. Um, up here. I don't think I can get all of that done, but if I can finish the horn with the leaves and some the corn that's over here, I'd be happy with that that progress. But stitching on it at all um, would also also be good. Next, uh, oops, that wasn't too loud. Next from 2019 is a prairie schooler. Um, it is called Birds and Berries. I can't remember when I actually, well, I, maybe I wrote it down. Let's see. Maybe I wrote it down. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I started the group of four in 2019. I finished the Blackbird in 2020. So there's the chickadee. It's charted as a black-capped chickadee. I added a little uh, white stripe on the brow to make it a mountain chickadee. And then I had already finished the red-winged blackbird. I am currently working on the blue jay, which is here. Out of all of them so far, this one is the most complicated. It's still not that complex, but like the blackbird was just kind of one or two colors. And the blue jay has a bigger variety of colors, so it's not quite as simple to work on. So my goal for 2023 is to finish the blue jay and start the last one, which is a cardinal. I was sort of waiting to start that one until I finished winter cardinals, so we'll see whether that happens. The next one from 2019 is the Halloween Banner Sampler. It's from the same issue of Just Cross Stitch. Let's see if I can find it. So 
so here it is. I am cutting out these uh, components just just because uh, and I'm also stitching it on a really bright fabric so it looks a, it looks a lot different but that's the cover and then this is where I'm at so my goal for this one in 2023 is to carry the black border at least halfway over and finish this big jack-o-lantern there's another small one next to it and then there's a ghost but other than those two things it's mostly just border This is stitched on a picture of this plus. Let's see. It is 32 count uh, linen in the color jewel. It's beautiful. Okay, continuing with projects from 2019. The next one is a Wee Beasties pattern. This is an out of print pattern that I got at an estate sale with the uh, called for Krynik thread. This is the Common Green Darner. It's part five of Professor Fisbee's Wonder Strange collection of wee beasties. Uh, this one, it's, <clears throat> I would call it an advanced cross stitch. I was definitely not experienced en enough when I bought it and I may not have been experienced enough when I started it and this year I did not have a lot of time to really focus and stitch on it so I did not meet my goal but I did make some progress you may not be able to tell between the before and after photos but I worked on the wing so I just have a little bit more of the wing to go and then back stitching the wing uh, and then there are three more wings to do. So I'm probably going to have the same goal in 2023 that I had in 2022, and hopefully I meet it this time. I like to finish this wing and backstitch it, and then I'd like to work a bit more in the body of the dragonfly. So this is stitched on 32 Count Belfast. It says the color flax, but I have another project on flax that looks very different. So I don't know if they're from different companies or if one of them is mislabeled, but I like the color on this one. And if I, s yeah, I like the color on this one. So that is where we are at on that one. Um, and the last one that I started in 2019 is one that I did not work on at all this year. It is a blackwork project. Um, it's called Blackwork Square. And let's see what fabric this is. I'm stitching this on 14 count Ada in the color forest green. And this is where I'm at on it. So instead of doing it in just one color, I have chosen some metallics, a red and a green. And I'd also like to add some beads to it once I get a bit more done. So my goal for 2023 on this one is going to be just to work on it. I would like to count the border and turn the corner so that I have an idea of how big it is across. Um, so yeah, I do enjoy working on it, but it's a different style of project and I didn't really get a chance to sit down and focus on it, get the right mindset to work on it. Um, my water is maybe a shadow. So yeah, any progress on this in 2023 will be good. So those are all of my whips from 2019. I'm gonna put things away and then pull out my 2020 whips. So that was eight starts in 2019, and then I had four starts in 2020, but I have finished two of them this year. So I'll first start with my Teresa Winsler. It's Millennium. This one's, it's, it's challenging. It's 
again, I would call it a more advanced pattern. This is where I got to. I have stitched two of the one over one pattern uh, planets. This is stitched on a 28 count Jobelin in stormy gray. And I think my goal for 2023 out of the way. Um, there is a mistake in this arch and I think my goal in 2023 is to find it and either fix it or come up with a way to make it symmetrical with the other side. So if the problem is in the sky instead of the arch, I'm not sure what I'll do about it, but that's my goal is to identify the issue and try to fix it. There are a lot of quarter stitches to make this curve. So I'm guessing that I missed one in there. But yeah, I love the fabric. I love working on this. The one over one is challenging. Um, it makes me think about starting a full coverage doing one over one. It's pretty tiny. So other than finding my mistake, I think just making any progress on this will be my goal for 2023. And after that, I started Spring Quakers by Rosewood Manor. This is what it will look like. And this is where it's at. I'm stitching this with the called for Baldani threads and the called for 28 count casual linen in the color Valor. I got this whole thing already kitted at an estate sale. Um, I really wanted to start a Rosewood Manor and there it was with all the supplies at a great price. So that's what I did and I've really been enjoying stitching this. I need to take a closer look at the pattern. I think that I finished this motif here. There might be Yeah, I think I finished it. I'll take a closer look. Um, but my goal for 2023 will be to finish one motif. There's one down here that I'll probably move to. And if I get that done, I will be, I'll be happy with that. This one is beautiful, but there are a lot of color changes. The next start in 2020 was A Prairie Year by Prairie Schooler. I did Prairie Year 1 and 2, and for Mania in 2020, I started 20 out of the 24. And this year in 2022, I finished all of them and fully finished them. So for the last time on this channel, I'm going to go through all of them very quickly. So January is in the frame. It's a little crooked, um, but I'm happy that it's in the frame and finished and it's going to be on my shelf for this month. So that was January. I did these on different colors or neutrals of 14 count Ada. So that was January. Let's see how best to show. Here's February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So those are all finished. They do not fit in the box that I had them for now that I have all of them. 
Um, but I'll get a new box for them. And for now, I just won't close the lid on that old box. So those are done, finished in 2022. The next project that I started in 2020 was also a finish this year. And it was a Mill Hill kit um, from the Buttons and Beads Winter Series, Christmas Village. This is Country Church. And I will insert a picture of what it looked like when it was finished because I finished it, put it in a frame, and gave it to my grandma. So that was also a finish. Now into what I started in 2021. The first thing I started in 2021 was also a finish this year. And that was the hair. Have it here. This hangs in uh, on the wall in Ethan's nursery. The whole the whole room has like a woods theme, so there's a lot of greens and browns in there. It's got like foxes and birds, that sort of thing. So this goes great in there. And this is also why I want to finish when I started this year so they can hang near each other in that room. So that was my third finish of the year. I did not realize they were like right in a row like that until I laid out all of my starts and finishes in a single list. So that's weird. Those three were started so close together and they were all finished at the same time. Um, okay, so got more behind me. The only other project that I started in 2021 was for Mania and I quickly fell off the wagon on doing it like a Mania style. And that is the 12 Days of Christmas. It is a Jim Shore Mill Hill project with a lot of beads and a lot of colors. And this way, this is where I got to. It's a large piece of, um, let's see what it is. It's 32 count gold raw Belfast and it's really big. So I bought a one of these grime guards from Etsy uh, to help hold the fabric in. And also since it's gonna take me so long, I figured it'd be nice to protect the fabric. But anyway, that's where I am. In 2021, I worked on the borders. I'm thinking I might outline these borders with like some green and red accents, but I have a long time to decide that. So I'll wait and see how it all looks. But this year I worked on the rings and I got, I believe two rings done, except for the beads. And there will be a whole lot of those. So that is my 12 days of Christmas. And those are all of the whips that I carried into 2022. I have four more whips that I started in 2022, so I will pull those out. I forgot to show you the cover photo of the 12 Days of Christmas, but this is what it will look like. I'm stitching it all together like this, and so I finished the stitching part of this ring, and I have the borders done, and I started borders on some of these other squares. Okay, so in 2022, I had four new starts. The first one I started was a Riolas kit, and it is this White Owl. Um, this came with, I think it was Oatmeal Ada. It doesn't say, uh, 14 count Flaxen Ada. And so I replaced that with 14 count Navy Ada. And I got a small start on it. I don't, I think I only worked on it one time. Um, hmm. Well, I think it might go this way. This could also be upside down. Maybe this way? I, I will know when I look at my working copy because I, I make a copy and then I highlight the working copy. So that's my start on this one. It's big. I really like it on the navy. I think the whites are really popping. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to working on this some more. I 
feel like I'll get more progress on this once my cardinals are done because those are also on an Ada and they're also birds. So they're kind of similar. I feel like I'll be more likely to pull this one out once that dimensions kit is done. All right, my second start in 2022 uh, is Peter Rabbit. I have this leaflet, I guess is what you would call it, or pamphlet. Um, and I wanted to stitch two of these and I got fabric and floss for it. I finished this one and I also want to stitch this one of Peter Rabbit wiggling under the fence. So here is the finish on this one. And then I have a piece of Ada to do the other Peter Rabbit and this one will be done. So my goal for this one this year is to finish that second Peter Rabbit so that this is all finished. I also like to FFO them. I'm just going to put them in a couple of frames. So that should, shouldn't be too taxing. And I didn't mention my goal on the white owl is just to stitch on it. If I get any progress at all, I'll be happy with that. Next, in 2022, I started Salute to Abigail. It's a Blackbird Designs uh, chart. It's from the Sweet Land of Liberty. And it's this one right here. And I'm doing my own colors. I'm using Weeks Dye Works. I'm stitching it on um, Nantucket Brew in 36 count. So this is how far I got this year. This is really enjoyable. The small count is nice. I was just going to use one strand of Weeks, but I didn't like the coverage, so I'm doing two strands of that. And I, I really like it. There's a really subtle variegation in the red and light blue and white, and then the dark blue is pretty solid. This one is also one where I just want to stitch on it. I don't have a particular goal, I just hope to pull it out at least once this year to see some progress. And then the last one that I started in uh, 2022 was uh, another Marishka kit and it's a uh, squirrel. It's definitely got a fall vibe versus the hair has a pretty spring or summery, I guess spring look to it, but I think they'll go good together because they have similar colors and I got, um, instead of the kit fabric, I'm stitching them both on this linen. Uh, it's 32 counts. What color? This is supposed to be flax. Uh, 32 count Belfast linen flax. So that's where I'm at on this one. My goal for this one is to finish like I would like to finish all of it, but I'm trying to be realistic in my goals. Um, so if I can finish one half or like the whole squirrel and a third of the green, just approximately half of this one by the end of 2023, I'll be happy with that. So those are all of my whips. Like I said, I um, am ending the year with 16 whips. I, let's see, how many did I want to finish? I thought I could finish Fright Night, Winter Cardinals, um, Peter Rabbit. That's three finishes. I thought that there were four that I could, thought I could finish. Maybe there's just three. Yeah. So if I want to net one less whip that means I can start two things or there's one project from a leaflet that's really small that if I could start and finish it then it wouldn't count towards my year-end total so those are just my loose plans last year I decided to stitch on each project in the month that I had started it 
I think I'm still going to do something similar, but maybe not the start it month. Because some of my projects got started in a weird month, like, I think it was the Halloween banner sampler, I maybe started in the summer, or something like that, and it just didn't make as much sense. So I think I'm going to go through my planner and just pick three or maybe four projects every month and assign them to a month and make sure that each of my projects gets stitched on at some point in the year. Um, especially the Blackbird Square, which I didn't stitch on at all this year. So those are my loose plans and all of my whips. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to go hydrate and think about dinner and try to get this uploaded. So I hope you enjoyed and looking forward to seeing all of you in 2023. Happy stitching. Bye.